안녕하세요. 코인 기업 탐방 스페셜 가이드 윤요라입니다. 저는 지금 인천국제공항에 나와 있습니다. 제가 여기에 왜 나와 있냐고요? 바로 중국 옆나라에 아주 핫한 거래소가 생겼다는 소식을 들었기 때문인데요. 그곳은 바로바로 바로 채굴용 거래소에 떠오르는 다크호스, 빗센트입니다. 저 효라가 지금 중국으로 직접 빗센트가 어떤 곳인지 찾아보려고 하거든요. 저와 함께 가실까요? 여긴가요? 어딨지? 있을지 모르겠네 어, 여기에 비센트 회사가 있다고 했는데 어디 계시죠? 어, 너무 커서 못 찾아보겠어요 에이. 哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。哦，原来是在这里。
们都是做二十四个小时工作吗？呃，是的，是的，是的，他们都会有排班，对，都会有二十四小时在这边值守。嗯，对。你好。嗯，你好。你好<笑>请你呃，可不可以现在采访吗？嗯，可以，可以。啊、那请自己介绍一下。呃，我们我们这边是风控部。然后我是这个风控的主主负责人。那你主要主要负责是什么呀？呃，主要是监控整个平台的一个运行情况，然后还有主要是监控一些客户的资产安全。那你今天从几点开始工作了？呃，我今天这个班次是从凌晨四点开始的。凌晨四点开始工作了，是会不会很累啊？呃，累，辛苦还会有一点的吧。但是为了客户的资产安全，这个还是有必要的。呃，我就是负责监控一些平台上面的一些报表数据之类。工作量虽然是有点大，但是为了呃让客户在我们必神平台上面能够安全的进行交易，那这些也是值得的。你好，请你自己介绍一下。你啊，我叫安主啊，负责这个毕生交易所的这个呃技术团队的管理，还有整个我们交易所的这个平台的这个技术架构的设计。那你之前做什么呢？你为什么来 Vincent 工作？啊，是这样的，呃，我之前是在三六零做这个软件工程师。其实我。刚从学校毕业的时候，我就加入加入三六零了。那个时候还是在实习，啊，实习了半年的时间，然后就主要是在，一共就是前几年哈，就主要是在呃呃三六零的那个核心安全部门，也就是三六零安全卫士的服务端啊。嗯，毕生的话是这样的，其实是我们几个人一起就是。啊、呃，就是研究，就因为现在区块链其实确实也是一个大势所趋，然后我们也觉得也发现说，啊、呃，这个现在目前为止就是虽然有很多的交易所，但是其实安全性租的都不够，那这样造成其实在，在在很多的用户其实是不放心把自己的这个啊币、呃、放在交易所的，那我们其实也就从此能够萌生说，我们其实有我们自己的优势啊，能够去把这个交易所能够做得更好，那于是我们就决定做这个呃这个毕生的这个交易所啊。那安全是交易所的最重要的部分。那为了这个方面，你们要做努力是什么？啊，安全性我们觉得呃应该是要做得更全面一些、嗯。那我们会主要从两大块来做。第一大块是一个呃外部的一个安全性的一个东西，那是什么呢？就是我们会跟啊这个呃各大安全厂商合作啊，建立一个应急响应中心，然后呢呃能够及时的获取到这个。呃，业内的一些，就包括区块链这个领域的一些安全威胁啊，或者一些安全相关的一些一些信息啊，这样能够逐步的去改善我们的整个系统的安全性啊。另外一方面，从对内来说的话，我们呃自己的在做我们自己的产品的这个架构方面，还有我们的这个网络架构层面上，我们都会引入呃很多的一些安全机制来保障整个系统的安全。你好，你好，我，你好，我，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，Join this part and to establish uh, the most security exchange in the world and uh, to offer the best service to the users. Uh, the user's assets, the security of user assets is the uh, most important thing. Like I said, we have an uh, original team. It's a technology team who provides uh, the security system for this uh, exchange platform. So, uh, like I said, we have many years in this uh, security in the security field and uh, exchange industry. The Bcent platforms applies the transfer mining. The what is the difference between your transfer mining and the other company? Uh, there are two points where different from the others. For example, for transaction fee mining, they may get a risk for the too many you know, tokens out at the beginning. So we limited the circulation supply by having the private sale percentage release time different lengths. 
for example, uh, when 10% of our total supply we will use for private sale already, and then only 20% of it will be released after the invested, and 40 and 40 will be released on the fourth and sixth months. So that guarantee our circulating supply in the first three months will be safe and stable. And also the second one is we actually have the dividend share. You hold a token and also you lock for different time lengths, from 24 hours to two years different. And it would count it by different weight to get a dividend share. So in the way we encourage or it's an incentive for user to lock BCT and make the price stable as well. Oh, so BCT token is very popular, I think. I hear that during the four hours, already sell 2 million 4,000, right? Right. Yeah, people really like our tokens and they're crazy about it. I guess it's a good thing for market. <laughs> <laughs> so I was check your website. There has a lot of popular investor. So could you introduce your, about the investor member? The biggest, uh, the, the most famous is the, the Cosmos Capital. Uh, they are largest uh, uh, token fund in Australia, like I said. And uh, the Nodi Capital and uh, H Capital and uh, Genius Capital, so three cap uh, token funds that's uh, our uh, earliest investor uh, uh, who give a lot, a lot of support in this end. Yeah. So, uh, but they still to make the decision to invest in BCNT. Uh, so it's, uh, clearly they, they have very interest in us because uh, those investors, they think the BCNT uh, technology, uh, technology support and uh, our team background and also our business board, uh, they think we have our own advantage in this market. So uh, by the way, uh, we really thankful for the, those token fund and uh, all the early investors. Uh, who support, uh, trust, and uh, continue to give us our strength in this end. So we will give everything we can give in this platform. So recently, there are too many crypto exchanges. Even the market is not good. But why do you think the crypto exchanges are increasing? Uh, well, that's a really good question. Actually, the market is not good. This judgment, it depends on how you view this. For example, right now it's relatively a bear market compared with two years ago. And some people in the field even saying winter is coming or it's not yet coming. P prepare for it, you know. For example, if you zoom out a little bit or think about from a bigger view, you see this market is growing and getting mature because people get more rational and investors are learning how to trade this market, like getting to the right path, you know. And the government, the people, they need time to adapt to it. So. In a way, we need to write with bubbles, you know? For example, right now, the, the market is actually full of competitions, you know, for cryptocurrency as well. That's why so many exchanges are popping out as well. But only the one who have the backup of funds, enough funds, and also equipped it with really strong team internationally. Also, most importantly, the good tokenomic design, you know? These three elements are essential for projects to grow and survive and thrive, you know? And I believe Bicent will rise from the ashes. So what do you think about the Bicent in Korea market? Uh, that's a great question. Actually, we start marketing in Korean market maybe three weeks ago. So Korea, among these few countries near China, is one of the most mature market for crypto. And the investors are so rational, they know so much, and it's pushing us to grow as well. It's a good opportunity. And right now, we already exceeded 200,000 users, and half of it is from Korea. So you see it's a bigger percentage. And our community is really active from Telegram and Kakao Room, and we're proud of it. So in the long run, we will put Korea as a main market for now. Relatively, you know, first we target to be a global exchange at the beginning already. So we want to start with China for sure, and also Korea and Japan and Southeast Asia and expanding Europe or um, America eventually, you know, for more developed countries. Okay, so could you tell me about some strategy of future and goals in Vincent token? Strategy, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, basically, Vincent is an uh, international mm -hmm. uh, exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we provide service for the global users. Uh, as soon we will list and uh, select a few impressive projects, uh, which can be very popular in Korea and China. Uh, 
So after that, we will add and uh, modify some new function and the trading mode in our platform. So everything we everything we did just for provide uh, better service to our users.